back to my channel today. We got kind of an issue here. So you guys might be wondering, what in the world is this? And who in the world made it? Well, let me give you a hint. He's very handsome. You can see him right now, and he's in front of your face. Yeah, see, you got me. Yeah, I'm totally handsome. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, that, that was rude. Okay. So this was actually a science project that got canceled in school. So I'm here to make a video about it. First of all, I'm gonna explain to you guys what this is, and then I'm gonna explain to you guys how you can make it at home. So like, this is like a rainforest ecosystem, as you guys can see. Uh, I tried to make a rainforest the best as I could. So I'll start by showing you here, come closer. Okay, so here it is. So here's like a little mossy area where you got all your critters, like spiders, snakes, lizards, frogs. So I started off like with this uh, alligator snapping turtle. I put it right here on the corner. It's gonna get into the water. Then I started off with a frog, just like it can move like a little bit. It can move places. And then this is actually a really uh, cool looking creature. It's when a lizard and a salamander breed, they make a salamander lizard. Did you know that? You learn something new every day. And this is a beaver trying to getting sticks in its mouth to make a dam. This is a puff adder snake. It's highly venomous and it can grow extremely long. So like its head, it might be on top of the tree. Like no kidding. It can go right here and then it can go straight up to the tree. And this is a bold eagle trying to come for the snake. So they're having a little fight. Who do you guys think will win? <coughs> bold eagle's going down very hard. <coughs> so, sorry about that. And here is one of my favorite creatures on the set. We have when an alligator and a crocodile breeds, it, come, it makes this monster of a beast. It's really cool. And so, yeah, that is it for the river and this area. It's basically like a mesh area where the more dangerous creatures lies. Even though like these are like pretty dangerous, like the, the jaguar, the tiger, the lion. These are way more dangerous. Like, this thing could probably take down this and this combined. Wait, the jaguar versus the crocodile, that would be a good fight. We should make a video about that. Yeah, that's another video coming up soon, I guess. Okay, so here's the, like a jungly area. So we have like a little jaguar here. It's like one of my favorite animals, right after the crocodile and alligator. Um, it just looks so cool. And then we have a fan favorite tiger right here and a lion. We also got like this deer looking creature and the tiger is trying to hunt for food. This is, this just wants to go over there and have a big fight. This is just walking to have a fight with the alligator. <coughs> the lion's going down hard. And this is like a deer creature trying to avoid every single thing like a scaredy deer, scaredy cat, scaredy deer. This is also a giant otter. It's actually very dangerous, and it can put up a good fight against the crocodile, even though it lose at the end, because this is not a crocodile. This is a mixture of it. It's like way more dangerous. So yeah, and we have a bunch of trees everywhere. We got some bushes and some rocks. Let's forget about the ground, and let's take to the skies. We have a silly dilly goose. That was a really weird name, but okay. So this goose is just like flying over everything. It's not minding its own business. It's being very nosy. Yeah. So now time to get to the part where I show you guys how you can make this at home. So you need two pieces of cardboard. One is like here, see this cardboard? And then you guys look right here at the bottom. See like a piece of cardboard and then you need some hot glue to hot glue like a foam base down. Like you see this foam base? You gotta hot glue that down and then hot glue this. Then you also need some corner pieces to hold it down. Like right here, there's like a corner piece and it's on both sides. Corner piece right here. Then you need some cloth, some colored cloth. 
you need to put hot glue the glue one down on one side and then you need to hot glue a blue one to be the river on on a, on like connecting to it then you need to hot glue another green one on the other side and then you gotta hot glue a brown one right down here so that you don't see all the messy stuff under it it just looks really neat and then you need for the smaller green side you want to get some moss hot glue that down now we got all of these materials with two stores michael's and walmart so yeah we also printed this out and pasted it right here anyways and then you gotta and then you have your crops like you gotta put some rocks down by the river here here we put some rocks in random places then you got your trees you got your bushes and then you gotta place your animals in a place where it's active and it's a working ecosystem so I placed down uh, the bold eagle and the snake here because they're having a fight. It's active, it's a working ecosystem thing. The beaver's trying to make a dam. It's a working ecosystem. The frog's hopping around looking for a bug. Working ecosystem. And this thing's just trying to get into the water. It's active, it's working. And this salamander's just over here pointed to that way, trying to get into a fight. It's working, it's active. And here, this thing is looking for food. It's active, it's working, it's good. This thing's just along the river trying to get up. It's acting, it's working. It's an active ecosystem. Here, this one's trying to get into a fight. This one's just trying to like immediately rampage in. It's working, it's active. This one's trying to stay out of trouble, which is normal for a scaredy deer. It's working, it's active. Yeah, and then this thing, it's trying to build a dam, it's got a fish, it's about to eat, it's working, it's active. This thing's flying over everything, this silly, silly goose, being nosy. It's working, it's active. So, we want to place them in areas where it's working, it's active, it, it looks like, and it feels like, it's going to be a real ecosystem. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye!